Hello friends, welcome to Be Learning Club. So in this video, I am talking about Kotlin data types. So the type of the variable is decided by its value. So in the previous video, we are defined the variable by val or var keyword. So val and num in um here it is a variable and this uh, this type is int integer type and file here d o u underscore n u m the type of d o u underscore n u m is double and val bool bool is a variable and the type of the bool is boolean and boolean type will take two values only true and false and obviously hello is a string type and text is a variable to store the hello we create variables in the previous video in this video i am talking about only data types and here are the data types int long byte short float and double so float and double store the decimal point number so let's go to the online code editor so now just type play.cotlang.org so just go to that and here I just type val x and just specify this as an integer. Just type i n t int and equal 5. So in this way, you can specify the variable and store the value 5. And just sorry, 5 and uh, print this p r i n t print ln. So use the print ln and now type x and just run it. So you can see that this is an integer 5 okay so now you can also use long here so when you using the long data type then you can use l at the end of value so this will define the long data type and now print this okay this is a long data type and, and now come to the float and double so you can specify this x variable as float float and you have to type this f is the capital and now here you can put any decimal point value and you have to type f at the end of the value and just print x and you can see this is decimal point function and here also you can use double and you have to type d is in capital so just remove this f and now print so it's a double type now friends come to a scientific number e so what is e e indicates to the power of 10 so if i use a 25 e4 that means 25 into 10 to the power 4 so if you run this so you can see this 25 and then 4 times 0 okay so this is e, e basically 10 to the power 10 uh, the power of 10 and here you can also use float so just type f and just change here to float and just type f is in capital so now you can see here also so 25 then 10 uh, 4 times 0 and then 0 0.0 this is a float okay so now comes to the boolean prints so boolean data type can only take two values true or false so here i change this x variable as boolean b o o l e a n boolean and just type true t r u a and now print x print the variable and sorry boolib not boolean L E A N boolean and now print it so you can see true and if i use here false uh, and i run this and here you can also see the false so this is a boolean variable so friends and now come to the character data type character data type is used to store single character like a c okay so just change the data type here and just type char character and now use single quote here and type a and do not use double quote and now run it you can see a and here i use b and you can see 
Remember friends, use the single quote for character data type. Do not use any number like these or do not use any any double quote okay so otherwise it will throw an error so now friends at last come to the string string is the text so you have to type any string inside quotes so here just change this to string string change this type to string and now print it so here I just want to print be learn and just print. So this is a string type. So these are the data types of Kotlin friends. So here are the details float and doubles. What is the difference between float and double? I already have said. And what is the scientific number E? And what is the Boolean data types? and what are the characters and what are the string so that's it for this tutorial you can download the pdf from the description box also you can download the assignment for your course so thank you see in next video